psyched to go. Uh, first off, I really want to say thank you to everybody who watched my first video, and I'm glad you guys liked it, and I hope you like this one just as much. The article I'm going to be talking about today is Rejected. How does parental rejection after coming out impact us? This article hits pretty close to home with me. Not because I've been rejected by my parents, but because I know people who have been rejected by their parents. Now, rejection is a pretty hard thing to deal with, but it's especially difficult when it's coming from your parents. It's sad to say that a lot of people who come out to their parents experience some form of rejection, whether it be in the form of physical violence, invalidation, or withdrawal of emotional or financial support. But how exactly does this impact the mental health of those who are rejected? The writer of this article, Eva Woodward, worked with Jay Puckett and Ethan Marache, I believe. If that's incorrect, I'm really sorry. Um, but she met the two of them through the LGBT Health Summer Institute to answer this question. How does parental rejection, when coming out, lead to psychological distress for sexual minority folks? They surveyed 241 sexual minority individuals across the United States from 2010 to 2012. And what they found is that a person who is rejected by their parents is more likely to think negatively about themselves, and that that person is more likely to experience depression, anxiety, and thoughts of suicide. Now, there could be some limitations to the research. They only surveyed 241 people, which, while that is a decent number, is fairly small in comparison to the entire GLBT community. Also, they asked the people to look back on their experiences, and for some people it was several years, so it's hard to say whether this is the exact path from parental rejection to mental health problems. Even so, it is very important that we learn from their results. So, what about you guys? Have you or anyone you know ever been rejected by your parents because of your sexuality? And how did that have an impact on you? Finishing this video up, I would like to say that if you or anybody you know is having any kind of trouble or is experiencing thoughts of suicide, to please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. As always, if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos of me in them, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Um, thank you all so much for watching and have a happy Halloween!